Hey everyone, this is Grandma Scratcher here in Florida, and today the lottery scratch-off tickets I have are the Bingo Doubler tickets. Uh, these tickets are $3 a piece, and we have five of them, making our total spend $15. But before we get started, I just want to say this is just for fun and entertainment purposes. I don't sell tickets. Underage gambling is illegal, and if you have a gambling addiction, please seek some help. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, all the details out of the way, let's have some fun. Uh, top prize on this ticket is $150,000, and there are still top prizes available. Overall odds on this particular game are... One in every 3.96 tickets, so just about one in every four tickets. I have ticket number 82 all the way through ticket number 86. So like I said, five tickets. We do have a white bar ticket right there between tickets 83 and 84 for those of you who are interested. Uh, for those of you who are new and have no clue what I'm talking about. This is what the seam looks like between two regular tickets. And then here you can see there's a distinct white space between the two tickets and they call that a white bar ticket. So if you didn't know, now you do. For those of you that don't care about that, I just give all the information. And for those of you that do care about it, now you know as well. So all the tickets are untouched, unscratched, still attached. I have no clue what's gonna happen. Um, but we're hoping for a better result than we had yesterday because yesterday was our losing session. It broke our streak. We had 17 sessions in a row with wins. Then yesterday was a losing session, but that's okay because that opens us up for a better and bigger winning streak, which is clearly what we're hoping for. So let's go ahead and get started on this game. It really is just like playing bingo. We're going to scratch off the collar card number letters, the collar card numbers. It's a Monday. I'm sorry. The collar card numbers up here, match them down here. We are looking to get a pattern down in the collar cards of an, a line, an X or four corners. And then depending on what play card you get your pattern on, um, that decides how much your prize is. Each one of these little boxes is a different card and you can win on each one. So before we even get started with all of that, I'm going to zoom in a tiny, tiny bit more. Not much. Just enough so you can see everything without cutting anything off. And I'm going to go ahead and scratch my free spots first because you know I always forget to do that. You guys know me. We've hung out, en we've hung out enough now. All right. Oh, I love it when the free and the money bag are in the same section right next to each other. I love that. And you all know that if you get... Uh, the a word with the money bag in it, a line of a word, a line with the money bag in it, that that, I believe, doubles the prize. So that's always preferable to just getting a line. I'm so stuck on crossword. That's why I keep saying a word. There's no words on this. It's just numbers. By tomorrow, I will have caught up because tomorrow's Tuesday. I just need some time. It was a weekend. And of course, if you get a star up here in the colors card area, you win $10 instantly. That has happened to me exactly one time. But you know, I'm not opposed to it happening more. I will take instant wins all day, every day. All right, let's get started on this card. And those of you, again, that know me, know this is probably going to be one of my longer videos. So if you just want the highlight reel, you can um, scroll to the end where I actually give you the outcome of the situation, or you can go over to the TikTok account, same name, Grandma Scratcher, same logo. You'll know it's me. It's, it's me. Um, and I put the highlight reels there. So anyways, moving on, let's see what we've got today. We've got N39 looking for N39 and you guys know, I know I love my little bingo cards, love my bingo cards. All right. Next one is 071, 071. I wonder how everybody's Monday is going. I hope you are having a fabulous, a fabulous Monday wherever you are. Oh my gosh, today. Ah, goodness, today is going to be a day. I can feel it. It is the week of Christmas and I know Hanukkah is going on right now. Started yesterday, I believe. So it's a busy week for everyone. 070, 070, right down here. And we've got a nice little streak going down here in the bottom right box. That would be a good box to win in. 
and 43 because like I said at the beginning, it does depend which box you win in as to what the prize is. All of these boxes are not created equal. N36. Oh, 63. Like, oh, Christmas tree. Oh, 63. Oh, 63. <laughs> I don't know the rest of the words. And I'm sure you all are not here for me to sing Christmas carols to you. And 35. Wow, we've got quite a few little sets of three going on. But what we need is a line five. 064, or of course that instant win with the star. And as usual, these bingo cards have so much scratcher dust. G58, G58. Not like a G6 though. Like a G6, like a G6. Nope, we're looking for G58. Not the same thing. That was a good one. We got quite a few on that. B7. That's our first one in the B column. That was a good one too. Got quite a few of those. I love it when we get one and we scratch it off everywhere in all the places. Oh, 72. B, 15. I-21. Well, that's a nice little setup going. Look at that. We've got four. One more for the win there. I-21. Would be nice to get a bigger win on the bingo card. Oh, 67. B4. B4, I hear a neighbor's dog. That dog is not happy. <laughs> B1. everywhere be one okay G 50 G 5 0 G 4 9 Oh, 69, it's the favorite number. Oh, 69. <clears throat> G51. I'm telling you, that dog is freaking out about something. It's a little dog, too. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a big dog bark. It's not a woof, woof. It's a... I thirty I seventeen G 
Okay, nice setup there. These setups are lovely. It would be nice if we could complete a pattern, please. N32. Another one ready to pop, but nothing happening. G60. Another one there, ready to pop. But we need the last number. I-24. I-19. B-3. B-3. It's going to bug me. All right, B-3. Quite a bit, but we're missing one. Just one, just one, just one. Just, we just need one. Let's see what the last row has for us. B13. B14 would be fabulous. We've got a lot of those, but no B13. I18. There's one. Just the one. I twenty seven. Boy, that would be fun because this is one of the bigger boxes. If you get a line at 75 and the money bag would make it a double, double. All right. And of course, four corners is also a pattern. I haven't even glanced. I-26 to see if we have four corners anywhere. But I will do that at the end. Okay. I don't see any winning pattern. No lines, no X's. And four corners. It's no, 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 no. All right, so this ticket is not a winner. Not a winner, but it's okay. We have four or more of these puppies. For those of you that like them, I do know that there are people out there who like them because I hear from you people. You're like, I love these things. And I'm like, me too. And then the other people are like, I hate these. I don't, I, I seriously, I mean, they do take longer, clearly, and I'm a pretty chatty person, but you know, there's, there, I like, but I like bingo. So, you know, I, maybe that's it. Maybe if you don't like bingo, you don't like the tickets. That would make sense, I guess. So, but it's okay. Interestingly enough, there are people who watch even the hour long, they watch the whole video, which I love. I think that's great. For me, I have certain YouTubers who actually are not scratchers that I watch and I know that they are chatty and I will put the video on and I will do other things. I will sit there and use my favorite app on my iPad is Happy Color and I will sit there and do coloring sheets on Happy Color while I just listen to somebody else talk about what they're cooking or their day. I watch a lot of cooking stuff. I watch a lot of, I guess, vlogs, I guess is what it would be considered. Um, but I just, yeah, it's like you don't have to respond. You don't have to participate in the conversation. You can just listen to somebody else talk about their day. And sometimes, you know, you, that's what you just need. You don't want to have the obligation of responding, I guess, maybe. Um, and you can just listen and do something else at the same time. 
So I know there's people that watch the whole video. And to those of you people, I salute you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you because I do the same thing for other YouTubers. I have YouTubers I watch and I do the same thing. So on with the wins. N39. Oh, 66. I think people tend to believe that the way they think about things is the only way somebody might think about things. Like some people may look and go, oh my God, why would she create an hour long video? And other people would go, oh yes, there's another hour long video up. It just depends on what you're into. And it's not until you get older, uh, I-22, that you realize, and, and it's such an obvious thing. And I know that on the surface, people understand that not everyone thinks the same way. But when you really, really, really start getting into it, and you all don't want me to do that right now because that's a really deep talk, topic. But when you really start to get older and you really start to realize that people really do see things, it's, it's just, it is a mind boggling concept. It's one of those things that seems so basic on the surface. But when you start to think about it, you're really you're kind of like, oh, oh my God. When you really sit down and realize what that means, it is amazing. And if you are interested in exploring that topic further and not listening to me explain it to you further, you can look up the analogy of the beetle in the box. Beetle in the box. And uh, that would explain a little bit of what I'm trying to tell you. You know, people can look at like a color, let's say red, and they can agree that it's red. But that doesn't mean that what you see as red is what that person sees it red, as red. That doesn't mean that if you were if you were able to show your red against somebody else's red, that those would be the same thing. They could be totally different things. It just means that what it means when you are when you are both seeing the color red, and I mean physically, not argumentatively, when you're both seeing the color red. What that means is that you are agreeing that that is what you have been taught resembles the color red or symbolizes the color red. It doesn't mean that your red is exactly the same as somebody else's. And when you really start to realize that when you get older and the perspective kicks in and you're like, I, I mean, it really is a holy crap kind of moment. When you realize that and you realize what that means, again, if you are interested in that kind of stuff, and, and I do tend to get really deep sometimes on here um, for numerous reasons, but uh, yeah, beetle in a box, that's, that's what you're looking for. It's a famous experiment thing, I don't know, but beetle in a box, and, and that will explain what I am talking about and what I'm rambling on about. And those of you who are just here to see if I win or lose are probably like, my God, this woman talks about stuff that has nothing to do with scratch-offs. And that that's right, I really do. I do. I ramble on about stuff. It's the way my brain works. That five gave us quite a few. I love it when they do that. For some reason, the scratcher's being a little bit difficult. N37. G54. I-30. I-19. Still keeping.
even in frame, right? You guys can still see what I'm doing. I get, I get kind of sucked in sometimes. And I'm like, oh wait, I'm taping this. B12. Seven There's one just one oh seventy one. Come on, bingo, give us something good. O oh, sixty two. And if I miss something on these cards and I don't catch it, rest assured I will be checking them in the Florida Lottery app. No worries. No chances of me missing a win at the very end. I always, always, always double check my cards. And you should too. If your state has an app, why wouldn't you use that app to check your cards? You want to make sure you're not throwing money away. Oh, 75. B9. Oh, that's a nice little setup. Just missing one. B9, missing one there as well. Those are the only ones we've got going on here. Oh, here, 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 here. All right, we've got quite a few going on. And we still have a good number, a good number of numbers. <laughs> a good number of numbers. N44. N36. And another setup where we're just missing the one number. N34. Just called 44. Now we're calling 34. And that gives us another potential for a win. Seventy I twenty five looking for a quarter I twenty five and I twenty four because the Florida Lottery has a sense of humor, which we have already established. They just want to make sure we don't forget it. I-29 would wrap up two for us. That would be a nice one to get, I-29. Hmm. B-14. Be one four. Just one. G fifty two. O sixty eight. And our last number of the day is 056, not of the day, of the card. And we're not done yet. 
<laughs> All right, not a winner. Two losers, no winners. We are O and two, but we still have three cards left. Three cards left. And for those of you keeping track, that one that just lost was the top half of the white bar, and now we have the bottom half of the white bar. So again, white bars don't necessarily mean much, do they? Okay, but I know some people love them. And we will just let those people have their thing because everyone's allowed. Oh, three spots. Oh my God, you know what I didn't do? Oh, I'm so sad now. I gotta go back. Oh, give me one second. It's been so long since we've done the bingo cards. It's no wonder I forgot. We gotta go back and close out the cards. All right, let's put this one to the side for now. All right. So we gotta close out the bingo game. Going once, going twice, going three times. This game is closed. There's one we're done with. Now we gotta do the other one. Going once, going twice, going three times. This game is closed. All right. Now we can continue on. We can carry on with the game in hand. I can't believe I forgot to do that. That's like the most fun part. It makes it like all official and stuff, I guess. B3. O sixty eight G forty six I twenty three G fifty-three. G fifty-four. Once again, Florida Lottery's got the jokes. O seventy four G fifty nine. N thirty nine N forty four. O sixty three. I'm kind of curious. What pays the most on these cards? Let's look at this for a minute. Okay, we'll start over here. Start over here. All right, so on card one, it's three dollars, two hundred, or forty. On card three, it's ten, one thousand, and one hundred. Card five is fifty, twenty-five thousand and five hundred. Card two is five five hundred and fifty. Card four is twenty-five ten thousand and three hundred. And then of course card six, card six pays the best. If you get an X, you get a hundred and fifty thousand. 
four corners is 5,000 and that's 75. But this one and X would be 10,000. So clearly X is the pattern to get on any of these cards that pays the most. The X is the most. Of course, I wonder, cause if you get an X, you automatically have the four corners as well. So would you still win the four corners or is it the bigger pattern wins? I wonder, huh? All right, well now we kind of know, I guess. We don't know all of the information, but we know more than we did before. G57. B11. B7. G49. 49 is fine. I-22. O oh, sixty six double sixes on the O B fourteen B fourteen and for those of you who might be interested I do post on my about page on YouTube I do post my total wins and losses, well, total wins and spends, I guess, for the year. I update it every month so you can see exactly how much I've spent on tickets and exactly how much I've won on said tickets. Because I know some people like to get that information. B12. I-27. B-8. I-28. G fifty two I twenty six nice little sub there with the money bag symbol. O seventy three I twenty nine. We got quite a few little setups going. I twenty nine. We need something to work out, please. O sixty one. Lots of 
We just need one more number. There. 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 We just need a good number. Let's get a good one. G50. Now we just need a number there. And we just need a number there. O seventy one. Need a corner there. Getting to the end. B four. Need a number there. Come on, N31. Oh, no win. No win. All right, Floor Lottery. And that was the bottom half of the white bar card. So clearly, that white bar theory did not work out for us today. Not today. So we are O and three with two cards left. Oh, darn it. Going once, going twice, going three times. This game is closed. I'm telling you, it is definitely a Monday for me. This, this video has been all over the place. It is a Monday, but that's okay because tomorrow, tomorrow is Tuesday. So it'll all be fine. All righty. G fifty five. I seventeen N forty two N forty one O sixty five sixty five, it's alive. Now I'm thinking about that song. It's alive. Weird science. From the 80s. Anthony Michael Hall was in that movie. Anthony Michael Hall was in a lot of movies in the 80s. Love him. Best known probably as the geek in 16 Candles. Before some of those movies in the eighties were the best. I twenty four, but of course some of them would definitely not be made today the way they were made back then. They did an interview with Molly Ringwald, who was in a lot of movies in the eighties. And you guys know her for other things now, but she was in a lot of movies in the 80s. And they um, talked to her and she said, yeah, if, if they had to make some of those movies. Now, there are certain scenes in The Breakfast Club and 16 Candles that they, they just, 
those scenes are not politically correct now. It was a very, very different time in the 80s. Clearly, I am Gen X. Are we still on screen? Yes. B6. It's the only bad thing about zooming in like that. One little twist and all of a sudden nobody can see anything. And it's not like I could reshoot the video. <laughs> G50. G50. And you guys know even when I totally mess up, I try so hard to piece the video pieces together like my alarm goes off, which has happened several times in the middle of a video. My, my phone stops recording and I'm like, oh my gosh. So then I have to start recording again, turn the alarm off, start recording again, and then explain why there's now two pieces of footage, you know, sketched together, which I'm horrible at. I am not a video editor in any way, shape or form. And um, yeah, it's just... I-30, we just point and film here. That's all I do. I sit down with my stuff. I get myself ready, make sure I got all my things I need next to me and we just shoot the video. G46, got a couple good setups right there and another one right there. N45. B13. I-16, oh, I, thought I almost, I was like, yes, no, that's a 26, not a 16, ma'am. Looking for 16. B-14. Really in that one? That's really unusual because I'm looking in the I column, maybe that's the problem. I'm telling you, it's definitely a case of the Mondays. Okay. B5. I-23. And yet another setup. I-23. So many setups. So many spaces where just one number would get the win. N-43. Another space where it would get us the win. We just need one. G fifty six. Again, another one where we just need one. I nineteen. And yet another one where we just need one. B3, and yet another one where we just need one. Come on, Florida Lottery, don't do me like that. We've known each other a long time. O73. Oh, O oh, seventy-three. 
And yet another one. We just need one. Oh, 75. And yet another row where we just need one. G59. And yet another row where we just need one. Florida Lottery, come on. I-27. N-32. And yet another row where we just need one. And yet one more row where we just need one. I-25. Unbelievable. All right, I'm gonna look anyways, just to make sure I don't see anything. Definitely no X's, because there's entire sections where we're missing. No four corners. Missing one there. And I don't see anything. I see nothing but random squares scratched. But we will scan it later just to confirm that I'm feeling like it's a no. Oh. Going once, going twice, going three times. This game is closed. Okay. Last card of the day. It's the last one. It is card number 86. It's our last card. Hopefully it's going to be the best card. This one shall be the winner. I, d I don't really know, but we're hoping, right? Okay. Scratch off our freebies. Seven I hope everyone is ready for the holidays. They're just a few days away. If you are Jewish, you are in the middle of Hanukkah, not the exact middle, but you know, in the midst of Hanukkah, which I just found out the other day, the dates of Hanukkah change every year. I was not aware. I, I really did not know, because I am not Jewish, I did not know that the dates changed every year. Just like Easter, Easter changes every year too. And some years it's in April, and some years it's in March. So, yeah. G47. I haven't really been out to do any gift shopping. I do most of my shopping online because why? Why would I want to go into the fray of things when I could just sit at home, push a few buttons and be done? I do not enjoy the crowds. I do not enjoy all of that. And I think I've already told the story about the one time I ventured out on Black Friday uh, but I know not everybody watches every single one of my videos and they certainly don't watch every minute of every one of my videos. But the one year, many, many moons ago, when I went out on a Black Friday, I did the whole thing. I got up early. I went to the store and I got the one thing I was there for. Couldn't tell you what it was. That's how important it is. And it was on sale and I got it and it was a good price. Um, but, you know, I had to get up early and everything. And then like a few weeks later, like maybe one week before Christmas, the same thing went on sale for less than I paid on Black Friday. And I wouldn't have had to get up and I wouldn't have had to go deal with crowds. And I was like, yep, not doing that ever, ever, ever again. And I haven't. Now, I will say that every once in a while, 
I'll, I'll see a Black Friday ad and there will be something on sale, like something that there's no big rush on, like character t-shirts for kids or something that I'm like, oh, that would be a nice little add-on gift for a couple of dollars. And I will like wait until noon on Friday to venture to the store and see if there are any left um, because it's a good deal and, and it would be a good gift. But I do not, I do not go out early, early. I'm not a morning person in any way. It is difficult for me in the morning. I, I get up if I have to, but I cannot. Yeah, it's, the morning is not my jam unless I've got something very big planned. Even on Christmas, but of course my kids are older. Um, you know, we, they don't wake me up <laughs> early. <laughs> they just do not because they sleep in too. So that's nice. But I just don't do Black Friday. I just, I try and do as much of my stuff as I can from home. It's just, it's like that saying is it's just too people-y out there, you know? I am a social person, but I don't thrive on crowds. Oh, 71. Oh, 63. Come on, Florida Lottery, give us something good. I-24. This is really not adding up to a whole bunch of good stuff, is it? I-24. We want the good stuff. O-62. I-27. Even like a little star would be good. One of those instant wins. That would be cute. I'd like that. I've gotten that once before. Okay, so we have something set up there. That would be a nice win too. It's got the money bag. I-21. Oh, 65. I, 30. Now we've got a few things shaping up. Oh, 73. And 33.
G60. N45. B10. So many potential wins. All right. B2. Wow. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Definitely no four corners. No X's, no lines, no nothing. Florida Lottery. What the heck? What the heck? All right. So you guys know that I always scan the cards. So if any of these, you know, five cards end up a winner, I will definitely scan and I will post an updated video, but I don't, I don't think we missed anything. So Anyhow, we spent 15 today and got back zero, zero dollars, nothing, which means a $15 loss, but that's okay. It's all right. I had a good time talking with you all, well, talking with myself and you all listened and I appreciate it though. I appreciate that you all tune in and you watch the videos. Just a reminder, if you had a good time and you liked the videos and you liked what we did, uh, give the video a thumbs up, give the video a like, subscribe. I put new stuff up every day, um, and every day we also do this one other thing. I ask you all to take just a moment and focus on one good thing. It doesn't have to be something huge. It does not have to be a huge thing. It all can be something tiny. It can be something like, today you're having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And some days that's just what you need is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You know, it's just like that some days. Or my favorite, oh, peanut butter and fluff. On fresh bread. Yes, peanut butter and fluff. Fluff or nutter for the win. Anyhow, just focus on one good thing because what you focus on multiplies and we could all use just a little bit more good in the world. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later.